Let's have a look at how to add a referral exclusion in Google Analytics. And this is particularly important if you have an e-commerce website. So let's just say you have a look at all the traffic sources and mediums that are bringing visitors to your website. So you go acquisition over here, all traffic, and I like to look at this screen called source and medium. So if you have an e-commerce website and you accept payments via PayPal, you might see down here paypal.com referral. <laughs> this is not an e-commerce website I'm using for the example, so you can't see it. But if you did, what that means is people are coming to your website, they're going to PayPal to pay, and then they're coming back to confirm the order. And if you have e-commerce tracking set up, PayPal will be getting the credit for that e-commerce transaction and the number of orders which doesn't help with your analysis because what you actually want to see is what was the original traffic source and medium that brought the person to your website before they paid via PayPal. So there's an easy fix to this and it's just adding PayPal as a referral exclusion. So to do that, we go down here to admin, click here under traffic info, sorry, tracking info, referral exclusion list. And I don't have any for the site I'm showing as the demo because it's not e-commerce, but to add PayPal, you'd simply click that red button, paypal.com and create. And what that means is next time you look at your traffic source and medium under acquisition, you shouldn't see paypal.com referral anymore. And those e-commerce transactions will be attributed back to the source and medium that originally brought the person to the website and that's a really great and really important for your analysis.